So we at Quitech have been working in AR since 2011, and we have seen it evolve uh, from a technology point of view. Earlier, there were a few things. Uh, I mean, it was only software driven. Uh, I'll give you, I'll talk about what is AR and how AR is being used in marketing. So uh, this is a scene from Iron Man movie. You must have seen uh, uh, the, the, the Iron Man sees the head of display which shows information from the real world about you know, what, what, what scene it is, what the, what the children are riding on, and what are they eating. Now, oftentimes, this has been repeated across movies. So you must have seen the uh, newspaper from Harry Potter, uh, Robocop, Terminator, and lately, Spider-Man Far From Home. So these are use cases of AR that's been used in movies. Uh, uh, can anybody tell me what is the most popular social AR platform at this point? Well, uh, that's Snapchat. So Snapchat with its face filters is augmented reality. It's being used uh, very popular, uh, and it, the, most of the experiences are shared among users. <clears throat> now, we'll talk about how AR is you know, different from virtual reality, mixed reality. We see a lot of difference coming in, uh, a lot of confusion about how virtual reality and augmented reality are different and how they are uh, you know, uh, similar. So virtual reality is basically putting a customer, a user, in a completely immersive environment. You put a headset on and the user is cut off from the environment versus mixed reality, which is it mixes the virtual environment with the real world. So it's about spatial computing. And with spatial computing, you got uh, a pretty good blend of uh, virtual world and the real world. So typical example is HoloLens and uh, Magic Leap. Now, augmented reality is a broader mix of technologies which enable digital content over our reality. Now, it could be sound, it could be video, it could be image, or it could be a GPS location. Extended reality, or XR, is a mixture of all these things. It encompasses all these three technologies. So how is AR used in marketing? Well, it's used for brand recognition, brand engagement, product visualization, conversion, and sales. I'll play a small video to showcase how AR can be used for engagement. So, uh, I mean, such cases have been very popular in the wine industry. And uh, there's another very popular case study of 19 crimes. It's a wine label which derives its name from 19 crimes that were land you and, uh, for a, a punishment by deportation uh, during the 18th century British Empire. So the brand created an augmented reality app which tells the story about these convicts and how they landed up. Uh, can you play the video?
as you can see, the engagement created is phenomenal. Uh, I mean, that's the kind of uh, storytelling that you can do. AR is also used in product visualization. So you can have product visualization, virtual try-ons of shoes, sunglasses, jewelry, makeup, uh, furniture. Uh, uh, and it's been pretty much used by e-commerce companies uh, to enable people to realize how the products will look like on them. Now, uh, there's another form of uh, AR which is being used by marketers, uh, which is location-based, wherein you can have an event uh, in a stadium or any event where you can engage people in AR. Back. Now, this is a very popular video from uh, SK Telecom, which uh, shows... I'll show you another form of AR which is being used by retail shops to engage users, bring footfalls, more footfalls to the retail uh, uh, shops and brick and mortar shops. Uh, So location-based AR can be used for sponsors to you know, engage their users or for brands who have retail shops to bring in more visitors. Uh, now, uh, in a B2B scenario, AR is being used for sales, by salesperson for visualization, product visualization. Wherein as a merchandising uh, person, I can help my customer visualize how the retail pop-up or the shelf will look like in the retail stores. I mean, there are multiple use cases across industries here. I'll talk about one popular case study, the 19 crimes, where we have uh, you know, some data. This was a very popular campaign run by JWT. The app had more than a million download. It, uh, the sales increased by 100%, and there was a more than 400% increase in social media engagement. Uh, for Quatech, we have been working in AR since 2011. We have worked across publication, FMCG, real estate, hospitality, liquor, packaging, entertainment, and healthcare. And we are seeing uh, demand from across the world in different aspects, apart from marketing as well. These are some of the brands that we are working with. <clears throat> now, the, the, the next technological change that is coming in augmented reality is mixing augmented reality with AI where you can have personalized experiences, personalized storytelling for a customer. Uh, I'll show you one uh, product that we are working on.
Hi, welcome to channel. I am Nick, your virtual brand ambassador. I would like you to ask you some questions related to your taste so that I am able to assist you better on selecting the right fragrance for you, shall I? Yes. What kind of fragrance do you like, mild or strong? Strong. We have the red list collection for you in that which best suits your specifications. Are you fine with the price range of $500 to $1,000? Uh, you can have your brand mascot or a celebrity talk to the customer directly, ask about questions. You can practically do a marketing survey. Uh, using this. Uh, we're seeing a lot of interest coming from uh, you know, brands, packaging companies uh, for this type of technology. Uh, the other thing that we see that is there are a lot of resistance for consumers to download an app. So, uh, and we see, uh, you know, uh, up to now, WebAR was not up to the mark. It, there are some problems with WebAR. Now all of these have been solved, and WebAR is now being uh, considered mainstream, where uh, brands are creating AR experiences, and you just need to scan a QR code to experience that. I think uh, that's all from our side. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, let me know.